Today's topic is going to be a familiar one, uh, migration effort using ShareGate. But instead of going from an on-prem, like SharePoint 2013, etc., to SharePoint Online, we're actually going to map and we're going to take files from our local drive. For example, would be like S drive, Share drive, and actually send that to SharePoint Online using ShareGate. So this was a recent request that came in that we got. So the first thing you want to do is when you open ShareGate, you want to go to the copy. Uh, you'll see here what uh, type of copy would you like to do. Uh, we're going to go to import external content. Okay, so we're going to click on the external content. And for sake of time, what I already did was I went into this SharePoint site that I wanted to actually uh, uh, mirror image, and I went in and I actually put in uh, some folder structure uh, so that it actually looks like it is currently set up on my. Uh, local drive here. So let's go ahead and connect and let's see here we want to connect with browser that's why you saw that error come up. Once we have connected to the SharePoint site here, the destination library, we can see here uh, I actually like I said I created an example here so this is the example. I'm going to hit next and what I want to do is, is I want to take basically this structure right here and let's just take the beep images for short just to make it quick so I want to go and I want that structure to actually take all the files that are associated underneath this and I want them to actually represent and be copied over into a SharePoint document library folder so what I want to do is I want to go and I want to click on my local PC here and I want to find the location let's see here desktop and here's the beep images and I want them to migrate over to the SharePoint drive go to options now you can keep the version history, permissions, this is where you can do all the the copy options and all the jazz to add the value to it. I'm going to go ahead and just do permissions and preserve authors and timestamp. So when you're ready you can go ahead and hit save and close. Now before we do this I want to bring over the screen so you guys see this is actually going to be a situation here where if you look at it you see 38 minutes ago this was updated, right? So 38 minutes or 46 minutes ago, I refreshed it. Okay. Once I run this, and I'm going to hit start copy, you'll notice that the metadata will be brought over. So this is again this this folder was created 46 minutes ago. I just hit refresh. Okay, there we go. The result successful. Now watch this. 46 minutes ago, refresh. Now let's see what it's going to say. April 6. That's because it has successfully migrated all the documents underneath this folder and the structure with it as well correctly to a SharePoint site. So let's go ahead and click on this and we'll see here we have another folder and we have these files here and you can see that they were modified when they were modified. Let's go ahead and click on the desktop, bring this back over just to compare. As you can see, the 6 was the last time it was updated. So if I go back and you notice again, it was April 6, which is correct. And if I click on it, you'll notice that there's a folder, and these are the different items underneath. If I click on this folder, you'll notice that it'll come up with these items. And there we go, there are the items. So that is how you successfully migrate off your local drive, share drive, and migrate it to a SharePoint site using ShareGate. And you keep the metadata 